If you've been struggling with lag, stutters, or low FPS while building bases or fighting in Rust, this video will completely change your gameplay. Step by step, we'll optimize your system, boost frame rates, and make Rust run smoother than ever, even on low-end PCs. Step 1. Windows GPU settings first. Click on your start menu and slowly type graphics settings into the search bar. Wait for the result to appear. And then click on the one that says graphics settings system settings this will open a window where you can control how each app uses your gpu take your time here we're going to make sure rust always uses your dedicated graphics card for the best performance.now under the section that says add an app click on the drop down menu and choose desktop app after that click on the browse button right below it a file explorer window will open from here, carefully navigate to the folder where Rust is installed on your PC, most of the time. This folder is located at D, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Rust once. You open the Rust folder. Look for a file named rustclient.exe. This is the main game file. Click on it once to select it, and then click add dot after adding it. You'll see Rust appear in the list of apps below. Click on it once, and then click on the options button. A small window will appear showing three choices. Let Windows decide, power saving, and high performance. Select the one that says high performance. Just make sure Rust always uses your dedicated GPU, like your NVIDIA or AMD graphics card, instead of the slower integrated one. Once you've selected it, click on save. Now you're done with the setup. Close the graphics settings window and either restart your PC or just relaunch Rust from Steam. After doing this, Windows will always give GPU priority to Rust, meaning your game will now run smoother. With less stuttering and more stable FPS during gameplay, frustrated with lag and high pain, Gear Up Booster can fix it instantly. Check the download link in the description and get smooth lag-free gameplay in seconds. Step 2. Rust full screen optimization. First, open your Steam client. Wait patiently or let it load completely. Don't rush this part. Once Steam is fully open, move your cursor to the library tab. This is where all your installed games are listed dot now. Take a moment and look through the list on the left side of the screen until you find Rust. When you see Rust, right click on it carefully. From the small menu that appears, click on properties dot after the properties window opens. Look at the options on the left side and slowly click on installed files. On the right side, you'll see a button that says browse. Click on it gently. Steam will now open the folder on your computer where Rust is installed. Once the folder appears, scroll down slowly until you find a file named Rust client. This is the main game file that launches Rust. When you find it, right click on rustclient.exe and choose properties from the list.now. A new window will appear. At the top, click on the compatibility tab. Take your time and look carefully through the options here. You'll see one that says disable full screen optimizations. Click on the small box next to it so that it's checked. After checking the box, click on apply and then click OK to save your changes. That's it, you've now disabled. Full screen optimizations for Rust. This simple change can make a big difference. It helps reduce input delay and can make the game feel smoother and more responsive, especially on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Once you're done, close every window you opened. Then go back to Steam, open Rust, and start playing. You should now notice slightly better performance, fewer stutters, and faster response time in your gameplay. Step 3. Increase Rust's performance using MSI Mode Utility V3. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. To increase Rust's performance using Utility V3, start by opening the tool and make sure you run it as administrator. This step is important because without administrator access, your changes won't be saved correctly. Once the program opens, you'll see a list of all your hardware devices including your graphics card, sound devices, and system controllers. Take your time here and scroll carefully through the list until you find your GPU, which will usually be labeled as NVIDIA GeForce, AMD Radeon, 
or Intel Graphics Dot when you find your graphics card, look over to the right side of the window. You'll see a checkbox labeled MSI Mode. If it's not already checked, click on that box to enable it. This feature allows your graphics card to communicate with your system in a faster and more efficient way, helping to reduce input lag and stuttering while playing Rust. After enabling MCA mode, look at the priority section next to it and open the drop-down menu. From there, select High, which gives your GPU a higher processing priority for smoother and more stable gameplay. Once you've confirmed that, MSI mode is enabled and the priority is set to High. Click the Apply button at the bottom of the window, then close the program. Next, restart your PC so that all the changes take effect. After your computer restarts, launch Rust again and start playing. You should notice a smoother experience, fewer FPS drops, and improved stability overall. This tweak doesn't overclock or stress your GPU. It simply helps your hardware and Windows communicate more efficiently, unlocking a bit of hidden performance for free. If you'd like, you can also enable a um, SI mode for other devices such as your storage controller or network adapter, but only change settings for hardware you recognize. Once everything is set, enjoy your improved Rust performance and a smoother, more responsive gaming experience. Step 4. NVIDIA Control Panel Settings to increase Rust's FPS using the NVIDIA Control Panel. Start by right-clicking anywhere on your desktop. From the menu that appears, click on NVIDIA Control Panel and wait patiently for it to open. Once it loads, look on the left side and click on Manage 3D Settings under the 3D Settings section. You'll now see two tabs, Global Settings and Program Settings. Click on Program Settings because we only want to change the settings for Rust.next. Click on the Add button and a list of recently used programs will appear. If you see Rust in the list, Select it and click Add Selected Program. If it's not there, click on Browse. Then go to your Rust installation folder, usually located in D, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Rust inside that folder. Select rustclient.exe and click Open. Rust will now appear at the top of the window under Select a Program to Customize. Now, scroll down through the list of settings carefully. The first setting you'll change is Power Management Mode. Set this to Prefer. Maximum Performance to ensure your GPU runs at full power while playing Rust. Next, find Texture Filtering. Quality and change it from Quality to High Performance to reduce GPU load and help stabilize your FPS. Then, scroll down to Threaded Optimization and make sure it's set to On. This allows your CPU to use multiple cores improving performance in demanding scenes.next. Locate low latency mode and set it to on or ultra. This reduces input delay and makes aiming or movement feel smoother. After that, find vertical sync, v-sync, and turn it off to remove FPS caps and improve responsiveness. Finally, you can leave anisotropic filtering as application controlled or turn it off for a slight FPS gain. Once you've made all these changes, Scroll down to the bottom and click Apply. Wait a few seconds while the control panel saves your new settings. When that's done, close the NVIDIA control panel and launch Rust from Steam. You should now notice smoother gameplay, fewer FPS drops, and better performance, especially in large areas or during intense fights. As an extra step, you can also go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview on the left side of the NVIDIA control panel. Select Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings, and then click Take Me There. Make sure Prefer Maximum Performance is also selected globally. This ensures your GPU always gives full power to your games dot after finishing. Restart your PC or relaunch Rust. You'll now have a much smoother and more responsive gameplay experience. With higher FPS and reduced stuttering, all thanks to a few simple tweaks inside the NVIDIA control panel. Step 5. Set on high priority on your desktop. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. You should see three registry files named Rust High Priority, Rust Low Priority, and Work Registry Template. These are small registry files that help adjust how Windows handles performance for Rust. Each one has a specific purpose. 
The Rust High Priority file makes your game run at higher CPU priority for better performance. The Rust Low Priority file returns it to normal settings. And the Work Registry template helps restore or reset your default registry configuration if needed. Two. Install one of these files. Take your time and follow these steps carefully. First, right-click on the file you want to use, for example, rusthighpriority.reg. From the menu that appears, select Merge. Windows will ask if you want to allow this file to make changes to your system. Click Yes. You might see another message saying, are you sure you want to continue? Again, click Yes. Windows will now add the settings automatically to your registry. This process only takes a few seconds. And when it's complete, you'll see a message that says, the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry. Click OK to close it. That's all you need to do. If you applied the high priority file, Rust will now run at a higher CPU priority, meaning your system will give more resources to the game, helping improve stability and frame rates during gameplay. If you ever want to go back to normal or default settings, Simply repeat the same steps, but use the Rust Low Priority.reg or Work Registry Template.reg file instead. After applying any registry file, it's a good idea to restart your PC to make sure all the changes are properly saved and active. Once your system restarts, open Steam, launch Rust, and you should notice smoother gameplay, more stable FPS, and overall improved responsiveness. Step six. CPU Unpark tool to boost your Rust performance using the CPU Unpark tool. Start by opening the program as an administrator. Once it's launched, click on Check Status to see how many cores are currently enabled and how many are parked. Parked cores are CPU threads that Windows temporarily disables to save power, but this can reduce your performance in demanding games like Rust.next. Look for the Core Parking Index slider at the bottom. If it's set around 60 to 70%, it means some of your CPU cores are still parked. Move the slider all the way to the right to 100% to fully unpark every core. Then click apply to save the changes. You should now see that your parked cores have dropped to zero, meaning your CPU is running at full potential dot after that. Check the system power plan option in, in the tool and make sure it's set to high performance. This setting keeps your CPU running at its maximum speed, even during heavy gaming sessions. Once you're done, close the program and restart your PC to apply the changes. When you open Rust again, you'll notice smoother gameplay, faster response times, and fewer FPS drops, especially in large servers or during intense fights. And that's it, you've just used the only FPS guide that actually works for Rust. Take a moment to notice how much smoother your game feels. Now, no lag spikes. No stutters, just clean and stable frames all the way through. If this guide helped you, take your time and gently tap that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Velvox for more real FPS boost guides that truly make a difference. Enjoy your smoother Rust experience, and I'll see you in the next optimization.